Welcome, welcome. My name's Andrew, and I'm glad you're here, because today we are going to be playing around with in one of my favorite tools, which is HPing3. You came here to learn about how to spoof packets in a network. You're going to leave learning how to spoof packets in a network, and it's really, really not hard. All you need is a tool like HPing3 to generate a packet and then send it off. Before we get too deep into it, I want to give you a little bit of a rundown on my network that I'm playing with so that you have a sort of some context of what's what's going on here. I've got a Kali machine and its IP address is 1.76. I also have a Metasploitable machine and its IP address is a 1.102. Can we reach out and touch that machine? Yes, we can. I just fired off a ICMP packet at it and we can see that we have a response. Perfect. This environment plays very well into doing some spoofing. Let's look at all of the IP addresses that are in play inside this network. We're going to do a net discover and change our network to a 1.0 because that's our, that's our network and hit enter. And we can see we have a different IP address in play here. That's actually the gateway. So we've got a gateway, we've got the Metasploitable, which is the 102, and then we have a Kali, which is a ending in a 76. Awesome. We are ready to rock. Let's do this. Whoop. There we go. Let's learn how to send a very basic SYN packet. I want to send a single SYN packet from my Kali to my Metasploitable machine. Now, I know that it's metasploitable, so it's got a lot of open ports on it. And so really I could pick any of these ports here. Um, I'm gonna pick 514 because I'm just feeling like 514 is the right number today. I'm just, it's, I'm vibing with it, okay? So hping3, and I'm gonna set a sin packet, a count of one to port 514, and then we're going to throw in that IP address. And we sent it, and we got something back. Beautiful, right? We can see that we got a SYN ACK. That is the second part of a three-way handshake. SYN. SYN ACK. And then the last part is an ACK. Let's go ahead and generate a packet that is spoofing the 102 machine. So HPing3, I'm going to send a count of one going to send a sin and what's going to change here is that I'm going to be doing a dash a and that dash a is going to tell us that this is the IP address the whatever's immediately next so this put that into the source part of the TCP header but we're not done there yet we actually have to have a target and my target is going to be the gateway it went out and it's not exciting, but, but it worked. Let's validate that this worked. Let's do it. Clear that. And I'm going to open up TCP dump here. And we're going to be looking for a, a particular host. And we know that we want to look at 1.102. That's the machine that I want, to, I want to spoof. Get it listening. Fly on over to here. And we're going to launch that again. It went through, cancel this listening, and let's take a peek at what TCP dump caught. And it, it tells us exactly what we did. We made this thing. It, it's doing its job. 192.168.1.102 was the sending from, and we're going to 192.168.1.1, and it was a sin flag. Beautiful. Love it. That's exactly what I want it to do. We can also use another tool that I really like. It's called Wireshark. You've, you've definitely heard of this one because if you're familiar with this channel, I've done a fair bit of Wireshark videos. I really like it. Let's open up Wireshark as a background process. And I am now going to go set it listening to the interface that my Kali is on. And it's set up in promiscuous mode, by the way. That's important because it's going to capture other traffic as well. So that's that's important. Double click, set it to listening. Fly on back to 
the terminal that's going to generate that new packet and we are going to fire this off okay and we will have caught it so let's hit stop there and we have the 76 in action there but let's let's actually go and filter for the the information that we actually want let's do it so uh, IP ADDR equal equal 192.168.1.102 and look at that. That's that's the packet right there that we made. Source of a 1.102 heading over to 1.1. Now it might not seem like much, and and really this actually would be quite easy to find because. I could also just do a, a look for zero port. Like, what is that? Like, who's sending data to the zero port? Let's apply it as a filter. And you could do this filter on anything inside of your Wireshark, and it's, it's just weird, and who wants that? Let's go and modify our HPing3 again to make this packet just a little bit more believable. I want this to be coming from a particular source port and going to a particular destination port so that it just looks a little bit more believable. So let's do, let's figure out what's open on the, on the gateway. It's probably a web server. I mean, whoa, <laughs> it was a web server. Super duper normal folks. Okay. Your router has to have a web server in order for you to access the GUI. Okay, I like it. We have a target now, a target port, and we are going to bring back our HPing3, and this time we're going to modify some stuff. So I like all that jazz. It works. This time I want to do a source port, and what what number should we pick? What What's a good number? Well, let's pick something above 1,000, because we're going to sort of pretend that we have, we're initiating a, a conversation that is within that TCP range that is that can be grabbed dynamically. So anything above 1,000, I'm going to do source port of 2,800. That sounds good. And we're going to send to a destination port of 80. Beautiful. So just to reiterate what, what we're looking at here is HPing3 count of 1, it's a SYN packet, the source port of 2800, destination port of 80. We're spoofing 102, and we're going to the gateway. Let's open up Wireshark, get that actually running again. And let's, let's launch it. Add our filter again. 102. Um, uh, and IP address equal, equal 192.168. Whoa, hello. What was I doing? 1.1. One one. Oh, look at that. <laughs> I, I, maybe I'm the only person that gets jazzed by... Uh, Wireshark captures, but I love it. There we go. So here's our spoofed one, and it's coming from 2800, and it's going to our gateway on port destination port 80. Okay, that worked. And then look at this, folks. <laughs> I'm really trying to sell it here, but we got a we got a sin ack back from the gateway. Okay, the gateway believes. That, that that packet is real. It's awesome. Gateway, source port of 80 to our, our target machine of 2800. Mm, love it. And then we have a response from the Metasploitable machine. It's, it's sending something back. It's saying, what? Reset. Like, I was not anticipating getting a sin act from you. Super, a, a super normal behavior. But what we've done is we created one packet... Well, then we added, we had three total on this network.
why don't we kick this up a notch and try to crash my gateway. Crashing the gateway is not that hard, actually. I'm also doing it in a lab environment, so it's going to be fine, but it's going to be fun to watch. Let's do it. Man, flooding it with HPing3 is noise. <laughs> We're going to modify this, but I also I'm going to bring up my PF Sense so that we can look at the, the memory usage, so we can actually sort of see this machine freaking out. We love home lab machines freaking out because that's where the learning happens and it's nice. Okay. And we're going to modify this a little bit. Get Wireshark running new. Keep that filter on. Bring this up here. And now let's modify this. And instead of a count of one, ooh, let's just literally flood it. And we'll jump over to this. Well, it's already, you can, you can see on the top, we oh, can't actually, you can see on the top here that my network is, is working hard. Okay. On the bottom, you can see that we've got 70,000 packets that have been sent. <laughs> I love it. What, I'm, what I want to see is this, this memory usage expand. I want, it to, I want to see it working hard, but it, it is lagging. I'm not even sure why I can't even see any packets. Down here, you can see it's trying to reset the filter. It's because it's working so hard. I've actually crossed the almost... There, there we just crossed 200,000 packets. My, my stuff is just it's panicking. <laughs> which is fine. That's actually what we wanted to do. Let's go back to the Firefox. Let's see if we can do normal traffic. Let's open up a, a new page. We'll go to YouTube. Keep in mind, we're flooding the gateway right now by with spoof packets. It's, it's working. Packet captures that 300,000. And in between there, we are desperately trying to get a SYN packet out of our, our router, but the, the gateway right now is being absolutely smashed by SYN packets from the... Oh, there. So now we got, we got a SYN packet through. A SYNAC came back in. We re we've got something. I know it doesn't look like much, but it's... You can see that's going really slow. Let's go back over here. Oh, see, I really want it. Oh, ha, ha, ha. There, we, there we go. See, uh, the state table size is enormous. Uh, the CPU usage is at 90, 100%. Okay, We're, we are crashing this, this router right now. Um, if I let it go any longer, like have we made it through? Even my, even my computer is starting to slow down. Look at how slow it is to actually switch between uh, tabs. Uh, this thing is gonna, this thing's gonna die pretty quick here. Let's, let's cancel that. And it's, it's not gonna stop immediately. Like, my packets are at 420,000. And we can see a bunch of Synax resets. So we've, we've flooded this internal network, made the gateway freak out, and uh, spoofed another machine on the network. There you go. If you enjoyed this video, I hope you did. Uh, there's all the videos on the screen. Go ahead and give those a watch, and we'll talk to you soon.